Hello, I'm Sophia Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's Draw With Me video. This month I dis decided to do something a little bit simpler. Uh, this is a character design called Winter. Uh, Winter is uh, spelled W-Y-N-T-E-R. Um, I did a little bit of research on it and it's actually a name and I thought that's pretty cool. Uh, sort of like a um, throwback to that she is a winter deer um, and I have a, this sort of idea like she there is seasonal deers and she is the one that brings the berries and the like warmth of food and like a small harvest during the winter period um and then like there'd be different days representing different things like snow and moon and blah 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 um so this is not as complicated as some other pieces with like over elaborate backgrounds but it's still fairly detailed and i will explain what uh, equipment i've used in a sec in this piece I am using my Dana Rowney mixed media paper, my uni pin fine liners both 0.05, 0 0.1 0 0.2 and 0.2, my Letraset Pro markers, um, if variations of colours, my WH Smith pencils, my white liners which I'm using the Posca pen and the hybrid gel pen as well as my Winter and Newton uh, Cotman half pan watercolours. Um, this was a bit of a challenge because I didn't want to do something very simple for this month's video um, since we had to, I had to cut back on Tuesday's video anyway. I didn't really want to do something very simple for this month's piece. Um, but I just had this sort of like idea that I wanted to do the piece that I was going to do for my uh, Ice Fantasy originally. Um, but change up the colour scheme a little bit just to make it much warmer. So mainly with most of this it is about trying to bring a warmer palette to quite a cold piece without making it too springy or too like summery and or, or autumnal in like tone. Trying to keep it looking quite frosty and quite cold but at the same time give a sort of warmth to the illustration. So, I did a lot of line work for this piece. I wanted the holly at the bottom um, to represent like holly wreaths. Uh, I was trying to make it not very Christmassy, but more wintry than anything. And, and I thought if she is like almost harvest deer um, for the winter period, she would like surround, be surrounded by the berries um, more than anything. And it's something I, I very much like nature and I, I think most of my ideas tend to be um, based around nature and ideas that I have for that sort of thing and it, sometimes it can be stupid little ideas but I enjoy what I do and I like creating stories behind all of my illustrations um, just to make it a bit more fun because you've got to tell a story when you're illustrating even if it's just a simple character design you want that the character design to tell a story so the main part with this was mainly building up the tonal values of everything. Um, I didn't want the greens just to be green, I didn't want the reds just to be red, I didn't want the fur just to be simply um, white in tonal value or like beigey in tonal value. I wanted her skin to be quite deep in colour um, but still keep like the deer features with the speckled white marks on it. Um, it was a bit of a challenge um, because I don't have that many dark brown tones and I really wanted to give her very dark skin um, but in the end ended up for going for a very neutral tone in her skin um, instead of making it too dark because she had very dark hair and I think this is because the reason why I wanted dark hair was to make it almost blend with the horns a little bit and to make it not blend as much with the fur around her to give it a bit more of a difference especially with the red berries being on there. If I could change anything about this illustration I would probably go back and add more berries to the sticks in her hands well the branches in her hands or maybe add a few more branches and um, change up where the fur is on one side because on one side it's um, flat and the other side it's quite floof um, but then again, fur doesn't behave in one way. It's very different depending on what kind of fur it is. 
The thing I most struggled with was trying to do a very simple background for this um, because some, all my other draw with me pieces like for example my mushroom hunters and my previous month where I did like the witch piece I, I've gone really over the top with backgrounds so to try and go back to something very simple was quite difficult because um, there were so many ideas I had but there's I wanted the main focus to be on the character in the foreground so that's why the background isn't as detailed but to all to create like this snowy almost like snowfall winter night sky sort of effect uh, so this is really weird this is going to be my last video of 2016 and what a year this has been for me for my art for the whole journey of doing YouTube and I have had a phenomenal year and it's all thanks to you guys. I could not be doing this without you all and um, when people on YouTube, you know, we stress how important you are and this is the truth, you are very, very important to us and um, without you I wouldn't be drawing as much as I do and I won't be enjoying drawing as much as I do. I enjoy coming up with concepts every single week and it makes me very happy to be able to do that. Um, I work part time so doing drawing is such a wonderful outlet for me and I'm glad that I can um, share my sort of art journey with you guys uh, and I really really enjoyed doing that. Um, this whole year for me has been a whirlwind, I never would have thought I would have hit the targets I have, I never would have thought that I'd have the support that I had and I can't thank you all enough because it's you guys that keep me going and I 100% appreciate every single one of you and I thank, thank you that you put up with my craziness, that you watch my videos, that you comment, that you like, like take part in my silly little challenges it means the world to me and I'm glad that I could almost be there um, and share my art journey with you and that's what I always wanted to do with this channel I wanted it to be almost like an art journey um, I've got a few goals for the new year I want to do the next chapter in my comic I want to do my next art book I want to do a few more zines um, I really want to be more hands-on this year and do a lot more content um, just because that's what I want to do. I'm looking at doing tutorials for the new year, um, like as you guys have requested, do a lot more interaction with you all and possibly if I can uh, maybe live stream at some point and uh, maybe if, if I can fit that into my schedule that would be awesome because I want to give back to you guys and show more progress of these pieces as the journey becomes along. I just can't thank you enough, it just means the world to me. So I, with this piece it's not as complicated as my others but I really enjoy drawing it and I'm really grateful to be able to do stuff like this and enjoy what I do. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Maybe leave a comment in like what sort of character designs you guys love to do. What do you guys like to draw? Uh, what would you like to see in future videos? Maybe like this video if you like it. And if you're new to my channel, maybe subscribe if you wish to see more content. I want to thank you all so much for such a wonderful year. I hope you've uh, looked forward to the new year with me. But as always, Let's stay creative.